wildlife story started in uh, 1968 on a fourth grade YMCA football team, University Park Maroon Razorbacks. My father was the coach. I was the quarterback. I had no passing plays in my quarterback playbook. My father was a longtime coach at the Moody Y. He coached me in all the sports and my little brother in all the sports here at, at the Y. And then he later became part of the board leadership and was board chairman for a term as well. I really have a great generational connection with the Y. My father, uh, myself, and now my children uh, and my grandchildren have already participated in Y programs. As an adult, I've coached 30 different Park City's YMCA sports teams with my kids, uh, ranging from soccer, which I know nothing about, to basketball and softball. I was raised to be like 8 Annie in Oklahoma, never say no, <laughs> or I'm just a guy who can't say no. <laughs> in the Y's mission, um, the for all is very important, and, and the Y really brings their game on that for all. They don't let financial considerations be a barrier to participation in the Y. They take YMCA programs and facilities into neighborhoods that couldn't support them under any sort of a profitable economic model. Uh, and one of my personal experiences was with the National Advisory Committee, the Indian Guide and Princess programs, about year 2000, when the decision was made to change the theme of the program from the Native American theme to one of Adventure Guides. And my eyes really became open to For All when I had an experience engaging directly with Native American representatives and talking about the hurt that the program caused them. And I'm very proud of the why that they moved in that direction uh, and inexorably in that direction towards the for all. In looking at this picture of my fourth grade YMCA basketball team, this picture kind of sums up uh, about the values and the bonds that Y programs build. My father is the coach. Two of my best friends in the world are in that picture with me. And uh, the last guy uh, in here that's notable is uh, a guy that I served as a pallbearer in his funeral. In the fourth grade, you're nine years old, and what does a nine-year-old know about what this picture means? I guess it means a lifetime. <laughs>